Hello everyone, so I'm Dr. Gayatri, your Ops and Gain faculty and we are back with the Inicet 25 series. So today we would be discussing about biophysical profile. So this is a very important topic which has been frequently repeated in the past few years. So it's very important to know regarding each component of the biophysical profile. Before that, please have a look at this question. So we would be discussing this in detail at the end of the session. So biophysical profile was devised by Dr. Manning. So this is also known as the Manning scope. So if the question is giving you Manning scope, just remember it's one and the same. So this has five components. That is four of them are related to ultrasound and one is related to non-stress test. So each of these components has a score of two. 2 into 5, 10. So if the BPP is alright, it will be either 10 by 10 or 8 by 8 in case if we are excluding being NST. So the components include the gross body movements, the tone, breathing, lyca as well as non-stress test. You can remember this with the simple mnemonic that is moving TB like snow stress. So just like us, even the moving tuberculous bacteria like snow stress in his or her life. Pardon me for the silly mnemonics, but believe me, these are going to help you in the long run when you have to understand and study a lot of things. All right. So coming to each component, the moving is for the moment. T, B, that is tone and breathing. Likes is for liker. No stress is for non-stress test. So about the moment. It is a gross body movements and there should be at least three gross body movements over a period of 30 minutes. You can just see the M resembles a three. So you can correlate it like that. Regarding the tone, there should be at least one episode of extension followed by flexion. Regarding breathing, there should be at least one episode of breathing which lasts for at least 30 seconds. So the TB each is for one episode each. All right. Regarding the Lyca. So the Lyca is measured in terms of single deepest pocket, also known as single vertical pocket. Please have a look at this diagram. So you can see that this is the single Lyca pocket and it is measured in two perpendicular planes, two perpendicular planes and each should be at least two centimeter. So if it is normal, it will be 2 into 2 centimeter. Coming to the last one that is non-stress test, there should be at least two or more accelerations over a period of 20 to 40 minutes. At least two or more accelerations. So what is an acceleration? So if the fetus is more than or equal to 32 weeks, there has to be an increase in fetal heart rate of 15 beats over a period of 15 seconds. More than or equal to 32, 15 beats, 15 seconds. If the POG is lower, the cutoffs are also lower. That is, the rise is at least for 10 beats over a period of 10 seconds. Alright. So, just remember that if everything is okay, everything would be given a score of 2 each. There is no score in between. If it is abnormal, the scoring would be 0. So, in this, it's very important to note that the first parameter that would be going in this is the breathing movements. Because in the fetus, the breathing center is very sensitive and that is the first thing that is going to be gone in the biophysical profile. It is breathing followed by gross body movements, followed by tone. You can remember this as 2, 3 and 1. From You can correlate with the mnemonic as well. So one more important thing is that among these, all are suggestive of acute asphyxia or acidemia of the fetus. Whenever these parameters are abnormal, they are pointing towards acute acidemia or asphyxia of the fetus except the component that is like. So like L for L, like stands for a long standing problem or it is suggestive of a chronic asphyxia. Please note that. All right. Now it's also very important to note regarding what is modified biophysical profile. So modified biophysical profile has just two components. 
that is the last two ones in our mnemonics likes no stress that is the like a part and the non stress part so like a is actually measured in this using amniotic fluid index rather than the single deepest pocket which was used in case of biophysical profile so like a is measured using amniotic fluid index it's basically calculated by measuring all four pockets that is seen in the uterus all four pockets are measured rather than the single deepest pocket so let's come back to the question all are true about biophysical profile except it includes the breathing torn movements of the baby as well as amniotic fluid volume yes that's right we have discussed the five components that is moving tv likes no stress all right so next is it can tell about fetal acidemia as well as fetal ph yes that's true so it is going to tell about the fetal acidemia fetal asphyxia that's also fetal ph a score which is less than 4 and also a ph which is less than 7.2 is suggestive of fetal acidemia yes we told that the total score is 10 and the lower score is suggestive of acidemia that's true as well the score is inconsistent with the fetal ph at different gestational age no that's not the right answer again coming to the next question we already discussed the components of the modified biophysical profile that is like snow stress that is like a and non stress test all right hope that makes it simple we'll be back again with the third topic in our nsa 25 series till then bye bye